Well, great to have you here with us on this Sunday evening. I hope you had a great weekend because right now we're going to get you into your weather story for this upcoming week. I'm Rachel Schutz in here. Now, this is the upper level low. You can see some cloud tops here and that's basically indicating this and this is going to be well in our headlines for the next few days because it is going to bring some unsettled conditions. You can see it spinning here and as this continues to track further to the east Ontario and Quebec you'll be feeling that. Now I want to take you first into the Atlantic as we do have a new low that's coming up from the south. This is bringing in that warm and that moist air. The humid X values start to rise again as well with this and the thunderstorm potential will be there too just slightly in through New Brunswick on Monday and then also we'll see that into Newfoundland as well. So certainly feeling like summer. And I do want to mention out on the Avalon about 18 degrees on Monday. But as we get into Tuesday, temperatures falling about about four to five degrees here, and that's because high pressure is coming into place and it's funneling in that cooler air. Now let's talk about this low that's moving through Ontario. You can see here, fairly defined, that's the cold front, slight thunderstorm potential in through Windsor. The moisture is going to break apart by the time it gets to the GTA. Through the overnight, we could see some very spotty, very light showers. You might even miss them. Now as we look into basically Monday's temperatures here, look at this. Okay, 23 degrees for the city of Toronto. Well, it's just about seasonal here, and we are going to feel the temperatures actually fall even just a little more as we get into Tuesday. So feeling a little fresh throughout the GTA. Huge downpours with this system, and now that continues to push into Ontario. So yes, we can expect to see an unsettled day again in through the northwest of Ontario. But look at this. Wow, welcome chain. And dry conditions, those are going to remain. As this low again continuing to push further to the east, and there really is no rain in the forecast over the next seven days for the south. I do want to mention that we have a low up to northern Alberta just heading through the Northwest Territories and that could bring a slight thunderstorm risk but you can see here Edmonton south all stays dry through the overnight and into Monday morning and talk about staying dry well yes that trend continues along the BC south coast as well. Again thanks so much for watching the Weather Network I'm Rachel Schutzen and this here is the weather systems that we can expect throughout the overnight this sky this upper level low this is going to be what we'll be talking about really for the next week here slow to move and it really does affect our weather story especially out in places like Ontario and Quebec for Monday now in the Atlantic we have a thunderstorm risk here you can see this for Newfoundland and then also stretching from about Ottawa in Ontario through the St. Lawrence and even into portions of New Brunswick as well so if you see the lightning heavy downpours as well well we told you so the potential for that is going to be there we'll also see that as well up through north northern Ontario and then stretching into Quebec and again all associated with this upper level low essentially that's bringing in the instability. So you can see here on Monday, it's not a perfect forecast throughout Ontario, especially to the north where there are some cooler conditions and more likely to see that steady rainfall. But to the south, places like the city of Toronto, maybe you're going to the CNE, don't look at that rain here and think it's going to be a terrible day to go because it really is not. By the time we look at the moisture that's going to move through throughout the overnight tonight, very light and then the potential to see some rain even into Monday, again, very light kind of showers. This is the cold front that's going to move through. Again, temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler as we get in through Monday, especially Tuesday as well. But as we look at the accumulated rainfall as that cold front continues to pass further to the east, you can see the GTA really escaping a lot of that heavy rain that's going to linger more towards the north. Now let me take you into Quebec. Look at this scene. Oh, this is just pure bliss, isn't it? This now I want to take you into the prairies here. The story in terms of weather, it is really very simple out west. We see the ridge of high pressure continuing to build. This is shielding us essentially from anything active in terms of the weather. Regina, 24 degrees. Look at Medicine Hat, back up into the 30 Club. Sunshine here right across the board. And as we jump into BC and through Alberta as well, very similar conditions. Calgary, 26, welcoming back summer here. You can see Vancouver, 21 degrees. And really throughout this whole week, Vancouver is seeing temperatures just around that. And that's just about seasonal. A dry forecast until about Friday. And then we're thinking Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, that's when we could get into some more of that active weather, some more of that rainfall here. But you can see to start off this week, really dry throughout the south. This low is actually going to move south down the coast, move offshore, and then come back into play. And that's when the BC South Coast will finally get into some rain. Well, great to see you. I'm glad you're watching the Weather Network this evening because this is a look at our developing stories right now. I'm Rachel Schutzen. The Monday storm potential, I'll tell you who's in that coming up. Also, the wildfire smoke in the west. We're going to see a switch of the wind direction, and this could put a new province into some of this smoke. And also, 
Humid out east. Yeah, we'll certainly still be feeling that in the Atlantic. Now, as we look here, these are the cloud tops. We have a new area of low pressure coming into the Atlantic. Halifax's seven day forecast, it just is so unsettled. We'll show you that coming up throughout the show. And then we have this upper level low here that's going to move in through Ontario. And this is really going to be bringing in, again, unsettled conditions throughout this whole week, really. So this here is the air quality advisories and the special weather statements, basically just warning you of all of the smoke in the region. And some people have been calling in on our storm line saying, I can't even see across the street in places like Penticton. So as we look ahead here, the good news is, is we are going to see a switch in the wind direction. Winds are going to be coming out of the southwest. And what this is going to do is move some of the smoke out of the area. It's actually so interesting when you look at some of the smoke on the, the visible satellite, because you can actually see it just right here. It just sits and it doesn't move. You can see some of the clouds and the winds over top of it, but all of that smoke right throughout that southern interior. So as we look ahead here into Monday, that is going to be shifting off and moving out of the way. And temperatures here into Monday, BC into Alberta, great conditions. Calgary, welcoming back summer, 26 degrees. Now let me show you the auroras. Yeah. Now let me take you across the prairies. This is what Monday's looking like. No complaints. We have a ridge of high pressure building in the jet stream and it's really sunshine right across the board. Regina up to 24. Cooler conditions in Winnipeg, but temperatures are going to rise as we get throughout this week. Now, the upper level low in Ontario. This is going to be bringing in those unsettled conditions. Again, the cold front's going to sweep through the south throughout the overnight. For the GTA, it's going to sort of break apart in terms of that moisture by the time it reaches here. And this is the accumulated rainfall. You can see very very little amounts for the GTA. Slight thunderstorm potential in through Windsor, where we are going to be getting into that heavier rain is more through central Ontario. And as we look ahead here, the thunderstorm potential, not really so much in through southwestern Ontario. We'll see it slightly for Ottawa and then stretching across the St. Lawrence here and then in through New Brunswick. You have the potential to see some thunderstorms. Finally, it's a day on Monday where we're not showing you the thunderstorm potential across the prairies, but instead shifting gears and moving it in through Quebec and also into the Maritimes as well. We will see a potential as well in through Newfoundland here and St. John's 18 degrees on Monday and temperatures dropping as we head throughout this week. Look at Monday afternoon. It's going to be feeling more like 22 on the Avalon. Halifax feeling like 28 as that humidex, that humidity comes into play here. And then we'll also take you into Ontario, a cooler air mass. And by Tuesday, we'll be feeling even cooler than this as well. Now, I would love if you could stay with us here because Kim McDonald is up next with Around the World. Glad you're here with us this evening. You're watching the Weather Network. I'm Rachel Schutzen, and this here, well, it's a look at weather right across the country. You can see the dry conditions out through the west, the rain that's moving through Ontario, and then out in the Atlantic, yeah, it's been a pretty soggy weekend, and we do have a new low that's coming up from the south, and this is going to be bringing in some more rainfall. As we look at the seven-day forecast for a place like Halifax, it is wet weather Monday to Friday this week. Now, the thunderstorm potential comes into play, stretching from northern Ontario into New Brunswick as well, and we will see that risk creeping into Newfoundland too. I want to mention hot, humid air. That's what we're feeling throughout the Maritimes on the Avalon, 18 degrees on Monday, but temperatures are going to fall as we carry on through this week. Sorry, I know, below seasonal. Now into Ontario here. This is the cold front. This is associated with an upper level low moving through. This is going to sweep through the south. Windsor has a slight thunderstorm risk. Not too much rain here for Toronto. And then as we look into Monday, we will get some more organized rainfall up through the northwest and north of Superior here. To the south, though, the big story is really that fresh air mass. We felt it through the weekend, and it's still here in through Monday afternoon as well. The humidity, it's going to slightly be there, but really, this is not a story at all. 23 feeling like 26. Easy conditions, right? Now I'll take you into the prairies. Look at Regina on Monday, 24 degrees. Winnipeg at 18. A big difference from what we saw this weekend. Look at this scene here. Very dry conditions. This low continues to pass further to the east, raining through northwestern Ontario on Monday, but nice and dry through Manitoba. Same thing goes into Saskatchewan, Alberta as well. Look at Vancouver, 21 degrees here, lots of sunshine. Calgary at 26. Medicine Hat back into the 30 club there. Lots of sunshine for you, and the forecast is staying like this really throughout this week. Look at this. This takes us into play for Sunday overnight and in through Monday. We can see the rain sticking to the north, and the interesting thing about this low is yes it is going to sag to the south but as it does that it's actually going to move offshore and then come 
back on shore for the end of the week. So that's when the BC South Coast is going to get into some rain. We're thinking Vancouver, about 15 millimeters of rain throughout the weekend, Friday, and then an additional on Saturday as well. So some good rainfall should be coming into play. Now we'll take you into Monday before I leave you here. Just humid XYs. This is what it's going to be feeling like right across the country. So you can see temperatures, we're not really looking at a huge spike in them. Overall, we're quite seasonal.